Hello, welcome to this week's Inkbound stream. Uh, no Mark today, he is getting actual work done. We're out here partying with you guys. Uh, I'm Andrew Avram on Discord, on the internet, other places, uh, creative director here at Shiny Shoe. And I'm uh, Kimi, I'm Shiny Kimi on Discord, and I'm the community manager today. And I am so excited for today because we have some friends that are joining us in the game. We're gonna be playing with a full party that is four people total for now right now right. yeah <laughs> and uh here let's let's get yeah, in the let's... game and i'll introduce everyone right right and just a little context for folks uh we are, we've been doing a very 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 limited like friends and family uh like initial like play testing so these are some of our play testers from that group um we are still looking forward to inviting many many more of you guys um and for now this is like not even going through that system these are just people like we knew from like who helped us test monster train and stuff like that who we've gotten in really really early here to help us test parts of this game so that's who you'll be seeing yeah and you might recognize them from discord or from monster the monster train discord right, right. like we've got rossum amphids f dj f 1107 don't know what those numbers refer to but i'm excited to find out at some point and yeah they're going to be joining us on for a few battles. That player has your name, says Vladimir Lemon. They do. They're the same name. <laughs> what a coincidence. Um, yeah. Okay. Do we want to start a? Yeah. I think right. We're, right. We're and so, um, yep. Yeah, and like you said, group size is four. Uh, you can play the game like it's it's being designed so you can play with any group size up to four: solo, duo, trio. Um, whatever size you want. There. Like we want the game to be fun at all those sizes, and you can play with your friends. Um, we're playing between the idea of three and four cap. Um, four gets a little chaotic, but we also know a lot of people have three friends and we want you all to be able to, able to play together. So that is what we're trying out right now. That's why we're trying to keep the cap at four. See what we can do. You guys will see it live on the stream today. So if we change it to three, you can always point back at this and say it is possible. Uh, let's see. Ooh, so... You're looking at upgrades. Yeah. Uh, we have more higher rarity upgrades showing up. So the green one means it's uncommon. The gray ones are common. Uh, it means it will likely be better, but also you kind of want to consider your build and what else you're upgrading and things like yeah. that. So, Increased range on Leaping Strike is pretty good, though. Yeah, and also I don't have any upgrades on Leaping, Leaping Strike, Strike at all. Right now. So, yeah. there we it seems go. like a good opportunity. If you're watching from home, if you're able to squint, zoom in, you'll see a little green bubble filled in there. That shows that you upgraded it with an uncommon upgrade. Yeah. And I, oh, and also I already do have a few. So you can see all the difference finish. between like common right. upgrades and then like the, what is this, epic? Uh, that's uncommon. Uncommon. <laughs> there are there is that big epic is purple. It'll you know later on see some of those. Yeah. Probably not today. Um, cool. Yeah, let's dive in. So this is how battle starts right now. Everyone kind of runs in and chooses their position. Um, we're probably going to tweak this. Um, it's a little again chaotic in multiplayer, um, but that's the way it works right now. We had a few silence metronomes fire off there. Very big VFX at the moment. And every player right now in battle spawns at the start of their turn. What turn one of these orbs? Orbs, when you pick them up, when you stand on them, will give you mana. Yep, we just did that. Give us an extra mana to spend. Um, and you can get items that do other effects. Like when you pick one up, you do damage, you get extra mana, you stun enemies, uh, different powers and power-ups you could get, and you just get out of the way. That's good. Yeah. So, uh, and enemies will scale up some hit points and some attack to match the power and the number of players you're bringing into a run. So they do get a bit harder. Um, but there's a lot of ways you can have synergy between multiple characters as well. There's uh, different abilities that will hit your entire team, that you can grant mana to your entire team. Like. You can share your items to some degree. You can drop items for other players. Um, so if you want to, one of the strategies right now in this testing is stacking up a lot of crit chance and crit effects on characters that can use it really well. So, you know, taking some stat or some synergy with items and trying to focus it on people in your party is a very effective, maybe too effective strategy right now. It's very good. Uh, multiplayer probably right now is easier, definitely is easier than solo. Um, and we are working on different ways to make that, you know, kind of like you can choose your own difficulty and you get higher rewards for taking on higher difficulty. So if you have a really strong group of players, if you and your friends are very good at the game, uh, there will be rewards for you for taking on those higher challenges. So on that note, there's note. clearly a disparity between our levels. Wow. Like, how does that affect the game? Mm. Not at all. It's purely cosmetic. <laughs> it is a show-off metric up there. Um, 24 is our current cap, so Rotham and Amphid are, obviously, they played a bit. Um, streams here, us, 
level one, played less on the stream account, obviously. And then DJF, not to call you out, level six. Oh no. Um, <laughs> just <died>. Also, <laughs> just died. All right, maybe he plays a little less, yeah. So they said get out of the goop in chat. Uh, goop will kill you if you stand it. Every action you end in goop does damage to you. That's what you see in that, that lower corner there. So um, watch out for the goop or you'll die. Uh, you can resurrect your allies. They spawn a resurrection orb. That's that glowing thing we can see kind of behind there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm kind of off. You're kind of off main. on the I, side. I'm trying to get down there, but it's not... I, right. We're, gonna, and we're, we're working on some camera stuff. I think, too, we're talking about our options for, like, getting it so you can see more of your party when the when the battle kind of gets to either side of this field. Um, also, someone did not end their turn. Could be anyone. Uh, uh, um, this is also something we're working on where you can't tell who ended their turn, so you don't know who to yell at. But everyone has to end their turn. Is it DJ? Could be. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now we're off. <laughs> um, da, da, da. Things you find out when you start playing with different people. Um, you can also see above their heads these icons. Those are the abilities that they're mousing over on their hotbar. You can see sort of what they're thinking about using. This can be a way to communicate. We also have pings. So if you were to um, press G, I believe, over the ground, kind of spam it a little bit, annoy them. Um, you can tell them meaningless information by marking <laughs> ground spots. So we're talking about like options. We want to expand our ping system as well. You can ping different enemies and different things like that. But uh, ways to communicate that aren't just chat. We do obviously have chat. We have party chat, general chat. But um, we want to make sure you can quickly communicate, keep the pace of gameplay moving. Now I'm fast. In, now I'm in it. Now I'm okay. Yeah. Um, there are questions. Pepper Titan is asking: Are there plans for a hub or matchmaking to play with randoms? And along those lines, is there a progression benefit to partying up? Experience bonus for being a group. Uh, yes and yes. So there is a hub, there's a hub world. You can hang out in the social hub. You can form parties there. Um, you can grab your, currently we're on Steam. You can grab your Steam friends. Um, you can grab people you, you uh, that are also in the hub with you. We're talking about ways to like track people you party with recently. Um, we don't have a more formal way than that. We kind of want it to be ad hoc, for, at least for now. We're gonna see what people want and maybe build additional things in the future. Um, there's also a general chat that you can talk to basically like oh, I think right now it's up to 100 maybe more people who are currently playing the game um and see if anyone wants to party with you and yes you also do get bonuses for partying you get bonus experience you get bonus other rewards so there are you know we know that sometimes playing with people it's just you know can be a little annoying we want to give you a little extra reward for it, it can be very fun why we're doing it um but also it's a little extra work it's a little extra work to find them it's a little extra work to coordinate with them so we want to give you a bit of an extra reward for that how do enemies decide who to attack, says Rossum, in a probably leading question because they played the game this much. Uh, but it's a good question. So enemies, um, if they have this like circle around them, like this boss does right here, um, I believe they actually right now attack a random target in their range. So that's like a direct attack. So they're going to attack a single target in their range. Um, and then there's ground targeted abilities, like different things like smash and areas and stuff like that. Um, nothing in this fight, but other fights. And those, um, those will choose a target to hit, choose a ground area, and many of them, when you hit them, will actually turn to face you. So you can drag that away from your allies, you can drag that into your allies if you want to be a jerk, um, but you can get them to face different directions and sort of manipulate that based on the order in which you attack them. So that's another reason, another way to coordinate in group play. Uh, it's almost got this one. Almost. Almost. You're doing pretty good, though. Doing... Yeah, well. only one person died so far. Marrow says they enjoy <laughs> the team chaos <laughs> of damaging your enemies. Just dancing in the corner. <laughs> right, that's what you do. When you turns over, there's social emotes to use when you are waiting. So, now we can cheer. And a little confetti. Yep. <laughs> that one's a favorite, too. It's a good one. I love cheer. Um, any plans for a vote system? Uh, to end everyone's turn in case a player leaves mid combat so you don't get soft locked. Uh, yes, right now when you leave, it does know that you've left, I believe. Um, like, obviously, it keeps you in the party, you can rejoin. Um, our plan there is to have it basically just skip your turn. So, if you're not online, it's going to just automatically skip your turn. Um, there might be other ways to force it. We're going to look again, like, what me mechanics we need. Um, if someone is, like, truly AFK or is trolling or whatever, you can also kick them out of your party. So, that is an option. Ooh, uh, what? Maybe. What do you recommend we do next? What do I recommend? Ooh, all right. So I don't know if you need the heal. Okay. Drop is useful. It's going to be a placeholder. It's fine. Yeah, let's do the shop. Let's do the cover. Middle one. Okay. Oh, wait. 
here. So right, so at the end of every area, at the end of different areas, you're gonna decide where you're going next and you vote on this, or not necessarily vote, you all have to pick the same one. So you need to reach a consensus. Uh, once you've all clicked on it, you will go somewhere, and this is a placeholder, you know, like, like we've said. Welcome to pre-alpha, soon to be alpha. But uh, we're working on a lot of things. Um, and this is where you use some shopping. So Carver's an NPC, he's gonna sell you some stuff. Um, this is a place to buy an item. So the middle one costs 50, uncommon, 150 for the rare. Um, you can also re-roll everything if you want to spend some resources there. Our resources are in the upper left, so we have 173. You can see our other party members who have mostly spent theirs. Very Pog area. Yes, it is. It, it will become Pog. It will be great. Uh, we're work actually working on this one, hopefully, this week or next week. So next streams, you guys will see nice. it being done. Um, ooh. Uh, ooh. Oh, there we go. Yep. You got this is an uncommon one, which also... Uh, every kind of upgrade location has a base rarity, and then it can even go higher from there. It can randomly go higher. Um, mm -hmm. I'll go... Let's just see what happens if I max out I'll to smash. Great. Alrighty. Ooh, okay, let's do... Do another boss fight? Yeah. Sure. Let's go for it. Um, and as you guys can see out there, you know, in the audience, um, this gameplay does play pretty fast. So we have four people, turn-based game. Um, but you're all kind of, you can take your turns in any order, you can take turns more or less simultaneously, resolution's pretty quick. So, beat it's fast, <laughs> or to click on things, yes, yeah. all very satisfying. Uh, you do share all this loot, so the loot you're getting is shared. Um, however, only one of you gets to click on it, and if that's the fun you get, then you gotta get there first. I do enjoy clicking on it. Uh, not, I, even when I'm testing, I click on them, I don't need to do that, but I can't leave it unsmashed. Yeah. So, I think that means we did the right thing there. Um... Okay, so I definitely want to get out of the way of this bomb thing. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, gonna be a... Yeah, really hard. Okay. It's gonna be a top play. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta use our... And also, these are my favorite enemies. Little oh, fighters. <laughs> they little dance, yeah. Yeah, they're so cute. So evil, but so cute. We have a good, angry uh, emote <laughs> with them. Commands for instant loot. Uh, loot is generally instanced, actually. You know, so, like, all the loot is individual to the player. Um, however, once you fill it up and you start swapping things around, you actually can drop it for your teammates. So, um, there is no, no ninja looting, by and large. Um, everyone gets their own. Yes. And then these, these fights have, you know, fixed enemies, or like enemies you've seen before, but also they will have modifiers. So this one has, is throwing out bombs. Um, and also, right now, each of them gets weak something and strong against something. So this is resistance to physical, 25% less physical damage, and 50% additional magical damage. I'm going to try to jump out of the way. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Yeah. These guys, once again, they've played before. Uh, so we got some, we got some pro players here. Everyone's doing the bar. Uh, they're really good. Um, and yeah, just astounded how how fast all the <laughs> how fast they just like were able to jump in and get right, through. right. Okay. All right, so now oh, interesting. Somebody it's like no. they added cold to it, and so I believe cold reduces damage done. Um, oh, we also yep, we lost DJ again. Uh, try to resurrect them. Although this fight's almost over, so we should be in good shape. F, F in the chat for DJ. Yeah. Gotta be clear. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, and then we'll collect our loot. So, yeah, what do we got? You know, we can look at this. Um, that first one's gonna definitely change. No one likes 1% chances. Um, enemy hits you. I like Reflector. Uh, it's fun. It doesn't okay. do a ton of damage. Um, it can do the better damage with the right skill. Like, you do have a shield ability, uh, but it can get pretty high. So, you know, this one, uh, when an enemy hits you, deal damage equal to your shield amount, and it gives you two shield per turn, so a little extra okay. defense. Um, that pretty seems good, because I seem kind We're of... We're some hits. Yeah, a little bit weak this time around. 1%. Oh, no, one, no one's on board with 1%. <laughs> we tried an idea. Sometimes we try things, sometimes they don't work. It's just how it goes. All right. Um, great. Well, yes, I think we did it. Is that... Uh, I think so. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to... couple battles? No, that's great. That's That seems perfect. Everyone also likes that sit emote. Everyone's just chilling all the time. Oh, yeah. Let me, um, let me go back and just... just. We gotta, here, we gotta go hang out and sit with Ross. Yeah, there we go.
have a so, little you know, after post combat picnic. Tough battle. <laughs> maybe, you know, last little. Um, that's what you're gonna do. Okay. Well, yeah. Any any more questions out there in chat land? Otherwise, well, so what were the major changes that you saw, like that were in this in this build versus last week? I know that right. everything's changing. A Every lot, day, right. Basically. And a lot of things are changing that we aren't showing you guys. So let me see what we might have actually showed you. Um, despite the fact that we had a teleport on the E key, you actually can choose that ability uh, at the start of your run now out of a few abilities. So that that teleport we have access to is actually something we can have a defensive shield there. We could do an attack buff there. Um, we're going to do a bit more with not only ability upgrades, but ability like swaps as well during a run. So you guys might see us do a bit of that in the future. That just went in. You didn't see it today, but it's in the game. Um, I don't know if I see anything else in our current run. Combat resolution, we've been proving the speed and timing of that. So you, it's one of the things you don't really notice, but it just feels better to play and it feels faster. Um, we're doing even more there, hopefully pretty soon. Um, again, most of you'll feel it once you guys get a chance to play, but doing a lot of work on that, um, and then general visual stuff. So a lot more of this should keep looking a lot better. And you mentioned a little bit at the beginning of people getting a chance to play, um, but do you want to reiterate a bit like how things are progressing on that front right oh, now? I mean, right now, this was just friends and every day family. Like, yeah, friends and family. I mean, I, yeah, we don't have a date, yay. But yet. I know a lot of people have been really excited Good. Yeah. for to get access to the game. You guys have signed up, yeah. And if you're in Discord, you'll be the first to hear about it. I think we maybe want to do like some giveaways in there at some point. Uh, might be the plan. Um, so just, you know, keep hanging out. We are not quite there yet. Um, we appreciate these, you know, hardcore testers of ours that we, we've like done stuff with in the past. And they're kind of helping us really work out the, the really rough, obvious stuff. And then once we get through all of that, um, you know, we are coming out 2023. Uh, that's when we want to come out. Yeah. So can't be too far away. Um, I will say that, but no dates yet. Uh, somebody has a question. Are there any plans for a combat stat breakdown, like DMG done, blocked allies, healed, etc.? Right. Um, we have a run end screen that we're working on right now, um, kind of gray boxed in, and it's got a space in it to show like relative stats and it shows like what quest objectives you completed and it shows how much experience you got. So I think somewhere like that is likely where we'd put it. Um, but who knows? You know, if people really like that stuff, maybe we'll put it somewhere else that you can get access to during the run as well. Ooh, monkey chow. Hi. <laughs> um, can you give a nutshell of what the loop for the game is? Um, you know, aka dungeon it up, run some levels. Right. Yeah. So monkey chow. Um, the game is primarily a roguelike experience. So that means like each of these runs, you are going to generally be going from scratch on your character, no items. You'll choose your sort of base abilities, your base class and your subclass and things like that. Um, and then you'll play through and you'll get experience, you'll complete objectives. Um, most quests are permanent, like permanent and persistent, and you can unlock things like access to new items, access to new classes, stuff like that. The levels you see and levels you level up um, give you purely cosmetic unlocks. So as you level up, you get access to new emotes and new hats and new skins and new weapon styles and all these things. And those are going to keep forever on your character. You can customize how you look. You get to keep them forever. Um, we're also generally a living game, so we have seasons, and basically every week we have it set up for kind of new content to shift, show up, part of the story to advance, things like that. Um, so, well, not a lot will stick to your permanent persistent character, um, a lot of what you experience will change in the game itself, and each time you play is going to be different, you're going to grow that character. Okay, and then follow-up question, so it's safe to say what you unlock are more variations for each run. Right, exactly. Exactly. And new frogs, maybe new frogs. These are no frogs. Um, <laughs> and Shadanda says, uh, could I have the co-op experience to compete with friends on damage? Yes, like we were kind of thinking like maybe like, oh, highest damage, get the little little trophy next to their name or something, just, you know, for fun and for a little light friendly competition. Um, although sometimes that leads you to trouble, right? You start making enemies attack your friends because you want to be in lead. Um, but it is, it is fun. So we like that. We're going to look about, look to see about adding that. Um, I, I really don't know how we got the frogs actually, but Hey, <laughs> um, all right. Well, that, that seems that's, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I mean, thank you so much for joining everybody, you know, who, are, who was able to make it. There will be a recording of, um, this stream on YouTube at youtube.com, uh, slash shiny shoe games. 
If you want to sign up for future beta access, you can at inkboundgame.com. Uh, also, if you want to talk directly to me or any of the other devs, you can do that on our Discord at discord.gg slash inkbound. And then also wishlist the game on Steam. We're really excited. The It's going to release in beginning of 2023, Q1, right? And then, um, and yeah, we're just so excited to get to share this with you. And we hope that you enjoyed seeing the full party run. And thank you so much to our friends um, who joined us today. So yeah, thank you so much and see you next time. Right. See you guys next week.